Sam and Corey, city leaders and downtown organizations tell me it's an exciting time to be in the downtown area with big events on the calendar for places like the America Center and other venues. They say it's going to bring in money and people that have been so greatly missed. I see people on the streets and people on the streets mean people in my seats. From basketball fans piling into the Enterprise Center. The Missouri Valley Conference, uh, the Arch Madness Tournament, brings in almost $10 million in uh, economic impact to the city of St. Louis. To visitors flocking to this weekend's Home and Garden Show at the Dome. I think there's a tremendous amount of pent-up demand when it comes to uh, leisure travel. People want to get out. They want to have a tourism experience. Restaurant owners like Joshua Polishta at BLT's are getting ready for an influx of business, both local and out of state as big events return to the downtown area. We get a line through the door uh, for those conventions and those tournaments. Um, we definitely are trying to um, staff up as much as possible for that as well. Brian Hall with Explore St. Louis says hotel occupancy is in the low 50s on weekdays and close to 80% on weekends but that will continue to climb. With spring break right around the corner, we'll be virtually selling out downtown and certainly hotels throughout the community with high levels of occupancy around weekends. Overall, we're quickly approaching levels that we last saw in 2019. And as the downtown area returns to pre-pandemic levels in terms of foot traffic and revenue, city leaders say the public can also expect to see new restaurants and properties taking space downtown. One of the things that we wanted to do was embrace diversity. So a lot of the businesses we're starting to see come in are probably from communities that were underrepresented previously. Lodging Hospitality Management, which operates 18 different hotels in the St. Louis area, tells me that they're actually really prepared with enough staff to handle the influx of crowds. They tell me that compared to last year, this year, they have about 80 to 90 percent of what they need. Last year, they only had about 60 percent of the staffing level that they needed. Sam Corey, 